فعاش القلب إخلاصا وافرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من روب الخير Some people say no, do you know what? I have makeup on. I have makeup on and for that reason I read somewhere that I'm allowed to delay my salah. My sister, my sister. That is not true. Subhanallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. You need to consider that Allah will grant you a nur and a beauty way beyond any makeup would be able to offer when you put your head on the ground for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Subhanallah. May Allah grant us ease. Man hasunat salatuhu fil layl hasuna wajhuhu fil nahar. Do you know what that means? Whoever's salah is beautified in the night, in the darkest hours of the night, perhaps their face will be beautified during the day. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. With us, the basic duty, we're lazy to fulfill it. We feel that, you know, we wouldn't or we can't, we cannot because of my makeup, for example. That's just one example. The men are even worse sometimes because they, they don't have that makeup. But still they haven't fulfilled the salah. What excuse do you have? Not to say that the previous one wasn't a, a valid excuse. But it's saying that's even worse. There's nothing stopping you. If you cannot read standing, you read sitting. If you cannot read sitting, you read on your side. That's the beauty of this deen of Islam. Where Allah's made it easy for us. My brothers and sisters, we can do better when it comes to this prayer. Remember one thing. What is your duty is the farad. What is your duty is the farad. If you have done that, you have fulfilled your duty. But if you were to expand and extend, it is to your favor. Because then you become closer and closer to Allah. We sometimes dilly-dally, even with our own farad. And you know what? You hear the adhan. The adhan is so powerful that shaitan runs away when he hears that call being called. He runs away. You know what that means? If you think for a moment, if you have run away as well after hearing the call, what does that make you? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not make us from among those who may be affected by the whispers of the devil when it comes to adhan. As he rushes, we rush with him. No, that shouldn't be the case. We should be the opposite. You call the adhan, Satan moves. But a mu'min, a true believer comes in. He comes in. We should be ashamed. You know, when your loved one here, I'm talking of a haram relationship, for example. Someone, someone you're in love with. Haram relationship. When they call you, how excited are you? You're excited. When they tell you, come here, you will be there. Even if they're just playing a prank, you would be there. Not once, twice, ten times, you would be there. Wallahi, my brothers and sisters, consider this. If that is the case, where we try to impress those whom we love, even if the relationship might not be permissible, what about the most powerful relationship that can ever exist? You and your maker. Allahu Akbar. And he is calling you. He is calling you when he doesn't need you. And he is saying, come, come to prayer. Come to prayer. It's repeated twice in the Adhan. And you know, you might be thinking, well, what's there for me in that prayer? Before you can even ask that question, there is an answer. The answer is, come to success. Success, twice. Come to success, both in this world as well as in the next. Subhanallah, come. And in the morning prayer, because every one of us loves to sleep, you hear something, you hear something beyond that. What do you hear? As-salatu khayrum min an Indeed, prayer is better than sleeping. Subhanallah, may Allah grant us success. Truly, we dream of that success, but stop dreaming Get up and do something about it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open our doors.